Oh god. We're literally at like a bat at this point. Like a cricket bat. Why is the engine halfway out? See, look at it. Hold on. Why is the engine halfway out like that? You know that's when it's not normal. Hi right, guys, welcome back, and we're playing a game called BMNG Drive. Basically, if you don't know what BMNG drives, if you don't know what BMNG drive is, it's literally just like a simulation game of crashes and whatnot, and I wanted to break this game. So how am I going to do that, you say? Well, I installed a couple of mods, <clears throat> and I did some digging, and there was a few car mods I wanted to try out. And, you know, I've got this Ferrari one, and I've got some Fast and Furious cars. i got a McLaren P1. And then, way down here, we're going to try out uh, these three. Apparently, they are destroyers of the game. So, we're going to try that out later. But for now, we're going to start off slow and try out this Formula 1 car. Uh... Okay, this thing's really loud. Jeez. The game is a little bit broken. I can't even drive this thing straight. It's very loud. Okay, let's try and drive it straight. My god. I'm getting some serious speed. Can you do this curve thing? Oh, I can! Absolutely can. Why am I losing speed? Oh, excuse me? I'm losing speed. No way the engine just cut out on me. Um. What? Hello? Uh. I have no idea what happened, but you can hear there's like something going on. Oh, it has its own fuel. Okay. Obviously the car's loud. So, what I'm gonna do... And I'm gonna test something. I may have missed a slight bit. So what we're gonna do is we're going to... Um, move this by a smidge because I miscalculated where that was gonna go. I'm gonna put him right there. Yes. This is gonna be perfect. <laughs> uh, get out of the, get out of that. I can There we go. And then we're going to watch this very very closely. Move the container. Let's speed it up. And that is. And this is Beam in G Drive for you. We test out the crashes of vehicles. What's it? It's still. Okay, it's still drivable. I don't know how this thing's still drivable. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, we're going to try uh, different vehicles other than the Formula One car. So that's that one. I'm gonna try the Fast and Furious car. This is gonna actually look pretty good. Where's the spoiler? God oh, damn it. Oh, but I like the sound of this. Whew. Let's crash into a wall. Oh, maybe not. Well, that works well. Oh, some donuts, baby! Oh, just the noise of it in slow motion is just epic. Um, we're gonna change different vehicle to the Tokyo Drift one. Hopefully this one has the racing spot on it. Does it sounds slightly different? Yeah. Slightly different, but can it drift? I guess it can. Yeah, I guess it can drift in its own way. Um, we need to try to a few obstacles. Okay, let's let's try this on rocks. See how well a Tokyo Drift car can go on rocks. I mean, so far, so well. Maybe not. Oh, drive, drive shaft is broken. Okay, I got unstuck. It's revving, it was revving by itself. I don't know why. Now we're gonna try out the oh, P1. <laughs> oh, the police version undercover or stock. We're just gonna have the normal one. Okay, it sounds a little way different than I thought it would. There's no way it sounds like that. <gasps> it pops out, that's cool. Can I do a flip? Do a flip. That shot straight up. I wonder. Can I it lands in the tube. Is it gonna land? Good good enough for me to drive, that's the thing. Put it in the right slow motion, see how we go. And touchdown. Oh, oh. Okay. Got a little bit messed up. Wow. <laughs> it's still able to drive to some degree. This guy's cool. Love it. How well can it do on the gravel, do you reckon? Well... According to my- Oh! Whoa! What there? I don't think it's drivable now. Oh, maybe. Come on. Ah. Uh, well. Yeah, I think it's Thurston. Maybe on to next vehicle. We're going to try out this car. Gee, that's fast. I only tapped the throttle. So that was just tapping, like. Right? Or, or that's more tapping. But if I hold it for like, say five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, this is, I don't know what it's doing. 
Is it is it flying? I can't tell. Oh, never mind. Can I land it? Can I land it? Can I land it? Can I land it? Just slow it right down. Slow it right down. And the ca camera's a little bit shaky. Camera's a little bit shaky. But we're gonna find out if we can survive. Huh. Um. What is that doing? What even is that? Is that the drive? Tra Are there the drive shafts? I have no idea what's going on. Probably speed it up a little bit. I mean... It's still drivable. A little bit. Because when the drive... Things in the ground, it's going to go in a straight line. Um, hold on, what the hell, jeez, what on earth, okay, that was the most weirdest thing I've seen, just going to go in a straight line, see how fast we can reach, 500 and... Six hundred. Okay. No way we're gonna land this. Oh. Okay, now we're starting to break the game. So, that's something good. Now, there is a car that I have that I think it can beat that. I think it's this one. Yeah. Um, I th land speed record. It, whoa, yep. Okay. We have got to put this in slow motion. So already about more than half a second, we're already at 75. Let's speed it up a little bit more. And we need to straighten the vehicle out. So already we're going half half a second and we're we're already pretty much at 500 kilometers. I mean, we're gonna smash into this wall. I might as well just go uh, full slow motion for this. And boop. Wow. <laughs> it actually crumpled up the whole entire thing. Hey, it's a footy. It's legitimately a footy. Woody, that still works. Hold on. No way. No way that's possible. Whoa! We're oh, okay. So that's something. I hate when it does that. So we're gonna find. Yeah, we're gonna go in a straight line here. So eight times. Then make sure we go in a straight line. See so if we can beat our record. I and mean, we need to keep going left. Keep going left. The vehicle's a little bit jiggly. Keep going left. Oh god. Why is the tires going out of its Resistance. Well, this was a huge mistake. This was an entirely huge mistake. 
Why does it crash like that? I don't, I don't understand. We'll just go over this, see what happens. Even just doing that? See, this is how ridiculous this is. So I can do... Oh god. <laughs> so, uh, I basically made a vehicle toy torpedo. <laughs> Yeah. It's stretching. Uh, you know when it's game breaking when the vehicle is a torpedo and the texture is stretching. So that's when you know this is game breaking. In real time, that's what you see. Oh, oh pfft. It, it, it's it's getting worse. It, it's getting really bad. Guys, it's getting real bad now. I'm just gonna leave this for a bit and see how we go. Two very boring minutes later. Somehow we're not falling to the ground yet. Alright, I wanna see. Oh god. We're literally at like a bat at this point. Like a cricket bat. Why is the engine halfway out? See, look at it. Hold on. Why is the engine halfway out like that? You know that's when it's not normal. So if you saw this coming your way, you know that's not cool. I reckon the second it touches ground, my game is gonna probably have a have a moment. No, I thought it would. I mean, look at that. This isn't normal. I'm not even. I don't have have my finger on the accelerator. And it's doing that on its own. I heard it. Did you hear it? Like a little tick. It's going so fast. It's really like a frisbee. Well, that's what it looks like at the vehicle. What about in the cockpit? Well, that's that's not cool. Yeah, this is definitely game breaking if I've ever seen it. Well, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.